Want to improve your Korean and sound a bit more like a native? This series is all about Shinjo-o, which are recently created Korean words. So let's get started. Today we have several new words to talk about, and they're all related. But first, let's talk about Yamin Jeongum. And I'll explain what this means in a moment. Yamin Jeongum is changing around consonants and vowels to other ones that might look similar in Korean. For example, this syllable is clearly te. But if your vision's blurry or you wrote it wrong, it could look a bit like mo. So if you were to write the expression tebak, which means awesome, instead as mobak, this would be an example of yamin jungum. In English, we might call this type of language online leet speak. Sometimes whole words are flipped upside down, such as the word domgok, which is just nunmur, meaning tears. Now, this way of speaking or writing is only popular among teenagers and young adults. And the word yamin jungum is a play on the word hunmin jungum. Before the Korean alphabet was called hangul, it was originally called hunmin jungum, which means correct sounds for instructing the people. But yamin jungum uses ya from the word yagu, baseball, since it was popularized in a baseball community forum on a Korean website. Now, there's a lot of potential for misreading Korean, so let's just talk about some of the common ways you might find. First, koyopta comes from kyopta, meaning to be cute. If you squint your eyes and the font isn't very clear, kui can kind of look like ko. Next, tengdengi comes from mongmongi, meaning puppy. If you imagine that the vowel o is fused to the letter miyum, then it could kind of look like that letter is a digut instead. Now this has the potential to get pretty out there, but the more extreme examples are not commonly used, so you don't have to worry about them. For example, technically you could write the word yangpa, meaning onion, like this. Yeah, it took me a while to figure out how to even read this one. Here, let me show you an animation. There we go, like that. <laughs> don't use that word though. But if you start using some of these difficult examples, then don't be surprised when nobody in Korea has a clue what you're talking about. For a bit of history, this kind of writing has been around for as long as Koreans have had internet. But these few words never really picked up any traction outside of the internet until the end of 2017, and more so in 2018. That's when the words koyopta, tengdengi, and domgok started to be used more widespread. So while I don't recommend going too deep into this concept unless you're already fluent, at least learn those three words. Are there any other new words you'd like me to explain? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching, and remember that I upload new videos to this channel every week, so if you like what you see, click subscribe. 그럼 다음에 또 봐!